Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our very first episode of Vinyl Voyage. Uh, this YouTube channel is going to be a Funko Pop channel, guys, where I do unboxing, reviews, um, and just upcoming news. Uh, we'll do some pop hunts, guys, go into our local stores, all kinds of fun things like that. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this before, plenty of them. A uh, rotating platform where after we, you know, if we pull out a pop or whatever, which today we will be doing an unboxing. Uh, if we pull out a pop, I'm going to go ahead and show it to you guys. We'll talk about it a little bit. Um, and then I will show you guys it also on the rotating platform so you really get a good look at it. Um, trying to think. Oh, that's right. This is the very first uh, episode, guys. Um, we will be getting a new desk. We'll be getting a new chair. Uh, we'll be getting a whole new room and setup and everything here shortly, so bear with us with what we got. We're doing the best we can. Um, but things will be slowly getting better from here. Um, so with that being said guys, we'll just go ahead and get right into the unboxing. I've got a box right here. Um, it was shipped to me. I ordered from Mercari. I like to do a lot of my purchases from Mercari because they have uh, purchase protection, which means um, they use PayPal and PayPal has a, uh, an option called goods and services. And what goods and services is guys, is if you were to buy something from somebody you don't know, a good or a service <laughs> or and, you know it's not from a family member who's a trusted person um, you can they actually pay a little fee for it or something like that I believe um, but you can say they just don't send you your package or it's not what you ordered or it's just destroyed whatever the case may be guys you can actually reach out to PayPal and they're really good about working with the uh, buyer um, and they'll contact the seller and kind of see what's going on and generally you know um, in cases where you should get your money back, you generally get your money back, guys. So uh, I definitely recommend Mercari. I'm not sponsored by Mercari. This is the first episode, not big enough to. Uh, I just personally recommend it. Um, I also buy from like Facebook groups. That's a little bit trickier. If you guys are new to collecting, I wouldn't recommend just going to Facebook groups. Um, you'll probably get scammed. I have not been scammed. Woo! Um, but uh, I just would not recommend, guys. Uh, if you're new, I would go... Mercari where they have the goods and services um, you know some people on Facebook if they offer to uh, do the payment through PayPal goods and services that might be a little different uh, but you know retailers right when they drop all that good stuff guys so uh, without holding it up anymore let's go ahead and get into our first pop <clears throat> okay so I'll just show it to you guys first because it's already right here this is obviously Deku from My Hero Academia before we get into this too much I'm just going to talk about it, guys. I was so hesitant on starting uh, to watch My Hero Academia. Um, I had watched Demon Slayer. I really, really enjoyed it to the point where I was like, I don't know if I can watch anything else. Uh, my friends had recommended a few other things like Fire Force and other stuff. Um, I think I tried Attack on Titan and just couldn't really get into them. They were too slow starting for me. And I know some of you guys right now are just screaming at me like, how dare you? I apologize. It just wasn't my speed. Uh, but I started this one I actually started watching this because I had seen that so many people were posting these pops and I thought that they were actually just really cool figures um, and I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. So there's Deku. Uh, on the back here we've got Deku, All Might, uh, Bakugo, Tenya, and Achako. That's who are all released in this set. I don't have them all yet, but I plan to get them. I think this is actually my very first My Hero Academia pop in my set. Um, I'm probably about three seasons in and it really just starts and it just takes off guys. I'm really enjoying it um, But yeah, this is uh, this is actually Deku in his Modified suit of the one that his mother made him when he's at UA Academy guys like uh, towards the beginning um, So it's kind of like before he gets into his pros uh, Maybe not it looks like he may have those boots from um, Season like three or four when he gets them from the girl who makes a bunch of stuff. I forget her name, guys. Too many characters. Uh, but that's a really cool one, guys. I'll be showing you that one here. I really like how they added his freckles to the pop. Um, and without uh, wasting any time, let's go ahead and get to the next one. Coffee break. And yes, this is really coffee. And this is a really cool Funko mug that I got off of Funko. Um, I actually seen it on Top Pops Tristan's channel. And I thought it was really cool. It's a heat reactive so that when it gets hot... It says Chase right here, it's a little Chase sticker. Really cool, guys. All right, back to the pops. <laughs> and next, guys, we have Bakugo, which is really cool. So now we actually have two out of this set here that was released. Uh, and it looks like this set was released in 2018, guys. 
Um, so now we've got the Bakugo as well as the Deku. Um, and this also is Bakugo's hero costume. Uh, and this one's a really, really nice pop because it's got the, like, grenade-looking gauntlets where he stores up his sweat, um, for his, like, superpower and all that. Uh, and that's actually a really nice pop, guys, so. Uh, this is a really nice figure. This might be my favorite figure of the day with the, uh, Katsuki Bakugo. Um, I just really like that they, uh, did a good job on his details and really got every part of this costume, guys. Um, really nice figure. It looks like, I can't tell, I'll have to check when I get it out of the box guys, maybe we'll check together, but, so here's All Might Weekend, um, the pop itself is actually pretty crazy guys, I actually really like it, uh, so if you notice his eyes are a different shape than normal pops, and they actually gave him a mouth, which I think is pretty cool. Um, and this is him in the weekend state after he's lost the, uh, uh, one for all power. And so he actually kind of looks like frail and zombie-like. So it's actually a really neat pop. One thing I did notice, as you, I said, is Mercari. Um, it does look like his hair may be separating from his head, possibly. And let me show you guys what I'm talking about there. Um, and if so, maybe I can glue it. We'll just have to see, I guess, how crazy it is um so uh really neat pop guys but like i was saying about the eyes and the mouth funko usually doesn't give uh the characters mouth some of them they do but not all of them get a mouth and they're generally these uh basic black eyeballs um jimmy hendrix i believe has like a little beard a mouth uh, some of them do have different eyes and they'll give them a mouth but generally speaking it's that's kind of funko's um that's kind of like their deal you know uh, so, so far, really cool pops before I get on to the next one and before I forget. Let's take this guy out of the box here. Mm, it's on there pretty good. It might have just been poor manufacturing, um, like poor quality control straight from Funko possibly, honestly. DRM, and it is a real Funko Pop, guys. The um, If you guys don't know, it, there should be the release date, like the serial number, whatever number that is to Funko, <laughs> uh, will be usually on the bottom of the head or on the feet generally sometimes. Uh, so this is a real Funko Pop. Um, and if, let me show you guys now that the case is off, if you can see that, where it's kind of separating a little bit. Uh, it must just be, I don't know, but it doesn't come off. We're, we're gonna run with it. <laughs> um, and so we'll go ahead and show that to you guys on the platform. There's a really nice 360 of All Might. Uh, we actually had to mess with the lighting a little bit because his uh, hair is so bright. But yeah, that's a, actually a really nice figure to have in the collection, guys. If you've seen the anime, it's just a really cool one to get. All right, guys, and our last pop for today's unboxing. All four of these were My Hero Academia. As you can tell, I probably bought a My Hero Academia pop lot. Crazy, right? Um, and it looks like, I don't know if I showed you guys the back of All Might Weekend, so let's go ahead and go back there real quick. Uh, but he's part of a different set than these two are. So these are two different waves of My Hero Academia Pop, guys. Uh, this one comes with All Might Weekend, Todoroki, Deku, Suyu, and Shoto Aizawa. So we do not have Todoroki, we do not have this version of Deku. Uh, this is him just in his UA Academy student suit. Um, and we do not have Suyu. Um, but we do plan on getting them, guys. We just don't have them yet. So, uh, same thing on the back of Shoto Aizawa. Nothing crazy. Um, but that is a really cool pop, guys. I really do enjoy this pop. If you look at how he's got, like, the facial hair, it's actually a really neat, uh, sculpt. And they actually pulled his, uh, like, the bandage wrap scarf. They kind of pulled it off and, uh, like, wove it between his fingers like he's using it. Because if you guys have seen it, that's part of his power. Let's go ahead and pull it out of the box and check it out. So that's a nice figure. And I'll show it to you guys on the platform over here. And here is a look at the Shoto Aizawa figure, guys. Um, and I really like how they did his eyes and kind of made him look how he is in the anime. Just kind of very, uh, who cares, I guess you would say. Um, but yeah, really nice figure, guys. And that's what I was talking about with how they like took the wrap off his neck and kind of wove it out like that. Uh, overall, really cool one, guys. Probably, this might be my favorite along with the Bakugo. They are both really nice figures. That's going to be our Funko Pop haul for the day today, guys. Um, 
These are the very first four My Hero Academia Pops that I have in my collection back here. Um, so I'm really excited to have these guys. I'm going to go ahead and put these as some pop protectors and get them on the shelf. So yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys. Um, I know some of you guys are probably screaming right now, wondering what's behind me. Uh, and don't worry, guys, because we have more pops to be unboxed. And I think before we go ahead and get to that, I think my next video I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what we have in the collection already. Uh, because it is going to grow pretty pretty rapidly as we do this. So might as well show you guys what we're starting with. So yeah, guys, look forward to doing another video. This has been an awesome episode of Vinyl Voyage, guys. I uh, look forward to doing it again. So we'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day and show off some of what's in my collection.